chair will now recognize Michelle Dietrich to make a motion to offer amendment, amended language for Amendment 272-684. Michelle. Thank you, Chair. Thank you to all the staff and all the platform committee members who worked so hard on this. I'm Michelle Dietrich, Michigan DNC member and chair of the DNC's Council on Environment Climate Crisis. I'm glad to offer this amendment affirming that Democrats will not only be immediately rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement, but also commit the United States to doing its fair share to leading the world in the effort to keep global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius and to convene a world summit aimed at new and more ambitious global targets to reduce greenhouse gas pollution. We all know that the climate crisis is not coming, that it's actually here right now, and it affects all of America and the world. The latest science and data underscore the importance of urgent action. Things are getting much worse, much faster than thought even a year ago. We also know Republicans led by the failure in the White House have made things much worse and that it's up to Democrats to take the lead. As we go forward, we will need to respond to what data and science are telling us. This amendment embodies the kind of bold science-based leadership we need as we move toward a more just, healthy, and sustainable future that leaves no worker, no community behind. This amendment also embodies crucial progress over the 2016 platform and fulfills the full vision and ambition of the Paris Agreement. Passing this amendment means that in 2020, Democrats are firmly committing to a goal of 1.5 degrees Celsius for total global warming, a goal that scientists tell us will prevent many of the worst effects of the climate emergency. It means we are committing to doing our fair share of reducing greenhouse gas pollution. And we are committing to taking national and global leadership on setting new, bold goals for reducing greenhouse gas pollutants, convening a worldwide summit to do so. The vast majority of Americans, Democrats, independents, and many Republicans want bold action on climate. The polling is clear, and those who have advocated with the council about the platform have also been clear. People in coastal states facing hurricanes, drought in the Southeast, Midwest farmers with flooded failed fields like my own. This amendment shows that Democrats are listening and leading. The DNC Council on the Environment and Climate Crisis and I strongly support Joe Biden. And we look forward to working with President Joe Biden, helping to ensure that the U.S. moves forward on tackling the climate crisis and upholding environmental justice as a critical national and global priority. The climate clock is ticking. Nothing less than the planet is at stake. I'm Michelle Dietrich. It's been my great pleasure to work on this amendment with Varshni Prakash of Sunrise, who I understand will speak next. Thank you.